There have been so many great RPGs this year, from underrated indie titles to massively anticipated games, and in this video, we're going to be counting down our top 10 best RPGs of 2016. With our list, we're only covering consoles and PC, so sorry Pokemon and Fire Emblem. With that being said, let's get right into this. Number 10, The Banner Saga 2. The Banner Saga was one of the best indie games in recent memory, and this year we saw the follow-up with Banner Saga 2. It's a Viking-themed tactics RPG with a gorgeous art style, great gameplay, and a solid story. I would recommend to play the first game before jumping into the sequel. It surprises me how the Banner Saga still remains relatively under the radar because it's one of the better RPG series out there currently. The Banner Saga 2 is available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. All our pain and loss. Our struggle to keep moving across a breaking world. And the words don't keep you safe. Your bow, your guile, the clans under your banner. These are your tools to stay alive, to reach your destination and face whatever comes next. Number 9, Tyranny. Tyranny is a PC exclusive RPG coming from Obsidian Entertainment, the guys that did Fallout New Vegas, and more recently, the excellent Pillars of Eternity. Tyranny and stylization is very similar to the latter, but with a very interesting design. You play as a soldier of the Overlord who has taken over the world in Tyranny, and it's your job to maintain order. There's a lot of decisions to make and a lot of depth to the story in the game. If you are a fan of Pillars of Eternity, Tyranny is a must play. Execution of justice is paramount. The lawless will be broken, made to feed the flames of war. Those found deserving of authority may rise, picked from the ashes, to be the enforcers, spearheads of the cause, to judge the accused and strike down those foolish enough to resist. As the final conquest draws near, you can institute the law from above or use the banner to institute your own. The destiny of nations is... Number 8, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim was one of the most iconic games of last generation. The anticipation was huge leading up to its release, and it was one of the best games in all of last generation. Earlier this year, it arrived to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in the form of the Special Edition, boasting improved visuals, a more consistent frame rate, all of the DLC, and mod support on consoles. It was priced at $60, which is kind of high, but at this point, you can find it discounted, and the amount of content you get for your money is a lot. Whether you played Skyrim or not, the Special Edition Edition is worth a look. It's available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 7, Hyper Light Drifter. Hyper Light Drifter is an old school 2D action RPG inspired by games in the late 20th century like Zelda A Link to the Past. The game features a great world with fantastic visuals, a good soundtrack, and solid combat. Some people may be turned off by the old school visual style, but then this game probably isn't targeted for you. I found it easy to appreciate the brilliant style of the game, and for those that enjoyed games in the late 90s, it's an absolute love letter to you. It's available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One.
Number 6, Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon is a hardcore roguelike RPG where you manage a roster of heroes and go explore. This is not the game for those of you without patience. It'll test your limits, but it's also a very rewarding and fair game. It's also insanely addicting and always makes the player want to try over and over again, even in defeat. Darkest Dungeon is available on PC and PS4. Number 5, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is the follow-up to the excellent 2011 RPG Deus Ex Human Revolution. The game takes place two years after Human Revolution, and while it's not essential for you to play the first game, I would recommend it. They do have an extensive video going over the events of the first game, and Mankind Divided from a gameplay standpoint is a lot stronger than Human Revolution. It's more varied and gives the player a lot more options. The world design was on point, the only real downside was the game's length, but considering the game's replayability, we'll let that slide. Mankind Divided is available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 4, XCOM 2. XCOM 2 is the follow-up to XCOM Enemy Unknown, taking place 20 years after that game in a story where the military lost the war against the alien invasion. XCOM 2, from a design standpoint, is largely similar to Enemy Unknown. That's not a bad thing, since Enemy Unknown was a great game. The game was initially a PC exclusive, and it did have some performance issues at first, but that has been largely remedied. The game also found its way onto consoles and that version. While it's not as good as the PC version, if it's your only option, it makes a very good transition over there. Fans of strategy strategy and tactics RPG, XCOM 2 should be one you look at. They found us! I've got eyes on an admin position. Oh, I've got some serious wounds here! I'm pinned down here! Number 3, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a farming simulator similar to a game like Harvest Moon, and the amazing thing about the game was the fact that it was created by a single person. The amount of depth to the gameplay in Stardew Valley is ridiculous. There's so much content, and all of it is compelling and composed of quality. It never falls into the trap of repetition and keeps the player engaged. Currently, it's only available on PC, but it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One really soon on December 14th. Number 2, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls over the last half decade has developed into one of the most popular franchises in all of gaming, and earlier this year, From Software closed the book on the series, at least for now, with DS3. This is the culmination of all of their work in Souls and Bloodborne, and it shows in Dark Souls 3. Atmospherically, the game is on another level and does a great job in absorbing the player into it. The combat is arguably the best it's been, and it features some of the best boss fights in series history. If you're a fan of Dark Souls, you've probably already played this, and if you haven't given Souls a shot yet, you should. It's available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One.
Number 1, Final Fantasy XV. It's surreal to think that after a decade-long wait, Final Fantasy XV finally hit the market this year. Did it live up to the expectations? Well, considering how high they were, it's hard to say. From a gameplay standpoint, the game is absolutely phenomenal. The open world is a blast to explore, the combat is high-octane and flashy, and the game creates some truly jaw-dropping moments. Technically, the game is arguably the most impressive game we've seen all generation. The one major issue with the game is the story. It's not the Final Fantasy epic I I was personally hoping for, but considering the strengths in every other area of the game, it's something I can't let completely slide, but it's marginalized by the game's overall quality. If you're a fan of RPGs, exploration, and content-filled games, FF15 is a must. It's available on PS4 and Xbox One. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 best RPGs of 2016. What do you think? What were your favorite RPGs this year? Do you think we overrated FF15, underrated a game, forgot to mention a game? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.